Hey there, I hope you are doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at how we can create a camera shake for our first person camera. Here I have made a bomb that explodes after 3 seconds and when it does you can see that we have a camera shake for our first person character. It's a very simple system to set up so let's jump right in and see how it's done. Okay, first let's see how the bomb works. Here you just need to create a blueprint, select actor and then open it up. Here I have just added a cube and then assigned a black material to it and that's it. Here in the event graph I have an event begin play and then after that I have a 3 seconds delay. Next, I have a spawn emitter at location function, which will spawn the explosion effect at the location that we put in here. We want the emitter to be spawned at the location of the actor. So here just uh, type get actor location and then plug it in. Here just select this explosion particle system and also bump up the scale so we can see it better. We also have a spawn sound 2D and here we are playing this explosion 02 sound. And that's it. This is how we can make a bomb for ourselves. Just compile and drag it into the level. And as you can see it's working perfectly. Let's uh, make it a little bigger and then now we can see how we can create a camera shake for our first person camera. All we need here is just one function and it's play world camera shake. Next we need to define a camera shake asset here. So go to your content browser and create one. Just right click. Uh, create a blueprint and here search for camera shake. As you can see we have a couple of camera shake blueprints here and the one we are looking for is legacy camera shake. So select it and let's name it cam shake for example and then here in the function just select it. Now open it up and here you have access to a couple of settings. This oscillation duration is the duration of the camera shake. So for example, let's set it on 1.5. Then here we have this rotation, location and FOV oscillation. Location will change the location of our camera which we do not need in this scenario. Field of view will also change the field of view and we do not want it to do it either but here we can use the rotation. It has pitch, yaw and roll. Pitch means that it will move from up to down. Yaw is left to right and roll is this kind of rotation. Uh, around the center of the screen. So let's uh, put in some values here and see how it looks. Let's set the amplitude on 50, frequency on 4 and repeat it for the other options as well. Before we play here in the function we need to define a radius. This is the radius in which this function will take place and all the cameras within this radius will be affected by it. So for example let's set it to 50 meters and now we are good to go. Okay let's compile and play and now you can see that we have this camera shake after the bomb explodes. It looks weird because the values we put in here uh, were a little off so you can just experiment with this and achieve the effect you like. So I did some experimentations with it and these are the values that work well for our scenario. I put the oscillation duration on 0.8 seconds. The amplitude for pitch, yaw and roll are these values 20, 10, 10 and the frequency are 34 
a pitch yaw and roll. With these values it will look like this and I think it's working fine. Again you can just play with them and for example uh, reduce these guys to 5, 5 and 10 and uh, this way the amount of shaking will be decreased. You can also destroy actor after everything is done so we do not have the cube in the middle of the level when it's exploded. So let's just add a destroy actor function and now we are done. Yeah, that's it guys and I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you later.